All right, guys, hopefully you can hear me. But I arrived at one of the 500 waterfalls that Dale has proudly found. <laughs> <laughs> Morning all, back at Lamington today. Today I'm with Ben, Mr. Benjamin Spicer. Morning YouTube. Morning YouTube. He's actually a subscriber. He followed me on YouTube a while back and he reached out uh, First time reaching out to me. He actually uh, Tagged me in one of his posts and wanted me to see whether I could figure out one of his waterfalls That's the first time I had contact with him. That was quite fun Try to figure out where he was. So if you ever do off-track exploring in main range Ben's the man <laughs> Uh, other than that, um, we uh, we kept in contact and now this is the first time doing a hike together. So I thought I'll just take him to Lamington here and do basically Moran's Falls with a little bit of a twist. Alright guys, catch you guys on top of the waterfalls. Mount Barney when I did that, yeah. I had a live shot but I didn't even bother filtering it. Like, I just drank it straight. No way. Mount Barney's not that clean. I was when I was there. <laughs> was, was approaching the top of Moran's horse. Beautiful as a lookout. I actually didn't notice this last time. But from the distance, you can see Ernest, Barney, Maroon, Jesus. I can see Greville from the distance. I think that's Greville. That's definitely main range right there at the back. This is awesome. Ooh. You feeling those trees? <laughs> old handrail that used to be here so this track has been closed for over 50 years as you can see it's literally it's very overgrown so it's just You do not want to slip down there. All right, 10 minutes in, uh, and it's still pretty much a trail. So, I was to be honest, I was expecting this to be a little bit harder, but it seems quite easy so far. But, like I said, so far. All right, let's keep going and see what we discover. actual stairs going down slowly the handrail looks a bit dodgy so don't rely on it i will stick to the cliff face if anything lean on the rock um, otherwise it's not a bad descent nice and easy okay so we're hitting the end of the road this is where we turn and the trail actually does continue you can see a faint trail here but also a very big drop just below us but i think this is where we start descending down to the creek <laughs> i've got to be careful here
FPX tells us to keep going this direction but it makes no sense is because we're not losing any elevation the whole idea is to get down to the creek so the objective here is to keep heading down all right here we go all right so this is where the true bush bashing really starts it's because we've neglected the gpx and um forging our own path okay i i actually thought you were talking about that guy oh how many dales do you know <laughs> yep If you follow the channel, you know that I'm a big fan of rock hopping and gorges are the best way to come down any steep terrain because there's a lot of rocks to hold on to. Oh, oh shit, look at the size of that rock. Holy moly. Jesus. Oh, that was a loose one. Lucky you knocked that loose. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you knock that one loose, I'll be dead. All right. Oh, fuck. Gotta be careful, Ben. All right, I just want to double check this rock here. Oh, we can't get down here, hang on. We have to go across a bit. Oh, fuck, that's not a possible true route either. Right. Oh, that was tricky. Oh, another big loose rock here. That's a hard part done. There's actually a big rock just underneath your left foot. Just down yeah, there. that one right there, just there. Yeah, step down there. Is that that? Yeah, you're almost at a rock. Yep, there you go. These are clear because water rushes down here, but this one looks like it's going to be a mission. Uh, we definitely can hear the creek so that's moran's creek oh look at this tree damn look at the spikes on that all right we found some animal tracks definitely this is where the baby wallabies or whatnot come down for a drink so it's quite intense bush bashing we're a lot larger than those animals so there were a few things in our way but we found a clear path definitely can hear the creek so close the tree doesn't look stable Here. Yep, thanks for those up. So, if you plan to do this hike, don't do what Ben does t shirt and shorts, you will regret it. <laughs> right, Ben? <laughs> oh, I'm sweating bullets, but I'm not taking my jacket off because that only means I'm going to get scratched from head to toe, like Ben. So, whew, quite happy. All right, we've made it to the creek, guys. So pretty much all it is is just a short creek hop up, and we're at the base of Moran Falls. Whew. That wasn't too bad. It's easier than I thought. Oh man, zero grip oh, here. Glad that was easier than you thought. Uh, this creek is.
Look at that. Ben taking an alternate route. He's got roof shoes on, so he's willing to get his feet wet. I'm trying to stay dry at the moment. <laughs> Go straight through the middle. How beautiful this moss is. It's nice and damp as well. Well, we gave up a lot of elevation coming down that gully which is good because we got to see this part of the creek it's quite nice so this is like a very sharp drop off so it's a very steep creek to ascend up hey <laughs> Dead end on my side. Don't see anything in here. It's a dead end on my side, so I had to cut across. It's a bit of a dead end over there, honestly. Unless you want to climb up boulders and get pretty wet. And that Same looks way. like straight up the middle yeah. it is. Doesn't look like anyone's been up this trail for a while. So, oh shit, I'm gonna get wet. <laughs> As you can see, we have to make our way through this. Okay, I'm going dead straight in the middle. Oh. First look of Moran's Falls from the bottom. Still a little bit of elevation. Not a great perspective, but behind those shrubs, you can see it. But look at this, man. This is magnificent. There's a big tree in the way. So we're moving left to get a better view. Holy moly. Take a look at this. Woo! Woo! <laughs> awesome. Money shot right here, guys. The money shot. Moran Falls, guys. <laughs>